Hey guys, today we're talking about how to boost the immune system. I'm Jacob from My Biohack. I'm a health coach. And today I want to go over this funny term, how to boost your immune system, as if you could put your immune system on a rocket and blast off. That's not what's happening. So with the immune system, it can turn into either a Th1 type of response where it's more active or a Th2 response where it's less reactive or we could turn into a TH type of response where it can tolerate whatever is going on. So when you know that, we can say, do we want to boost it towards TH1 or TH2? Or do we want to boost it towards T regs? Or there's one over here that is also TH17. This is an auto-inflammatory response, which is inflammation and autoimmune diseases, auto-inflammatory. So what we're going to do is talk about how we can boost it this way or that way or drop down or shoot up. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So first we're talking about naive T cells. So naive T cells, they can differentiate to create complexes of other forms. So they are activated and they could either go they can go a few different ways, but for the sake of this video, we're going to differentiate them in four different ways with TH1, TH2, TH17, and Tregs. So TH1, what is TH1 all about? So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can go into this a little bit better. So TH1 is more activated around immune, immunity for inflammation, such as being antiviral. So when Th1 is activated, it, they attack the viruses, uh, and we get a effective antiviral response. A ways to increase this are with licorice, glutathione, uh, ginger, and reishi. I've just tried. These aren't all the ways; they're just some practical ways that can be actually done within the household. If T cells are activated to become Th2 helper cells, and thus they are taking on pathogens such as parasites or uh, a allergenic, allergenic toxin uh, where you get allergies. So, so here, here's a graphic for showing parasites. Ways to increase the Th2 response would be with sunlight or turmeric fasting, and choline. Now, what's important to note is that Th1 and Th2, they are on a tighter, teeter-tighter of themselves. They balance themselves with a scale. So you either have Th1 that's more active and Th2 that's less active, or Th2 that's more active and Th1 that's less active. That's generally how it goes. Same thing with Th17 and Tregs. Either you have more auto-inflammatory Th17 or you have more immune tolerance Tregs. Now let's get back to the diagrams. So we look at this here. What boosts Th1 brings down Th2. So when looking at this, Th1 and Th2, they balance each other out. So whatever Th1, whatever activates Th1 will decrease Th2. So for example, licorice, it will increase Th1 and your antiviral immunity, but it decreases Th2, which is your response to allergens or parasites. Same thing with Th2 in response to Th1. So the sun will improve your tolerance to parasites and allergens, but it has a decreased response to viruses. Do you see what I'm saying here? So some ways to increase Th2 would be sunlight, UV, turmeric, fasting, and choline. When we go to Th17, Th17 is more in mucosal tissues. It's an auto-inflammatory reaction in those mucosal tissues. So if you have an infection such as candida, that would hang out there. And that would cause a Th17 response like interleukin-17. 
And generally what we want to do is decrease that. So you would use things like sunlight or coffee can do that. Olive leaf extract can do that. The all European and the hydroxytyrosol from it. Butyrate, which comes from our guts, can uh, decrease that or at least create a healthy homeostasis for that. And sauning or heat shock proteins, those therapies that increase heat shock proteins. Now, you might have guessed that decreasing TH17 would also allow you the better ability to increase Tregs, which is a more tolerant response that your immune system has in immune regulation. So ways to increase that would be with DHA and EPA and pervalbumin from fish. Uh, cannabinoids from certain plants like CBD or beta carophyllene are very useful in increasing Tregs. Uh, cold therapies such as cold plunges or cryotherapy, their hormetic response creates that beneficial resp uh, beneficial increase in Tregs. And glutathione is also on that list. So now that you can see what the immune system looks like, you might be able to better see how just increasing or boosting your immune system doesn't make a whole lot of sense because what part of your immune system are you trying to boost, right? If you're boosting your Th1 response, but you're also fighting a parasite, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to give that parasite immune tolerance when you could be boosting your Th2 response, which would better serve fighting against that parasite. Or for example, if you had a virus, you wouldn't want to be boosting your ability for Tregs to be more immune tolerant to a virus. So do you see what I'm saying here? Boosting your immune system is not the way to do it. <laughs> it's not the way to do it. But following a proactive approach where you diagram, where you see this diagram and you can see how all these mechanisms can actually play out and what you can use. So to quick recap of what we went over, we talked about how T cells, they differentiate once they are activated into different ways, either Th1, Th2, Th17, Tregs. These different pathways and mechanisms regulate certain responses from the immune system that are either antiviral or inflammatory based or parasite and allergen based or fight infections that are like fungal based or increase immune tolerance for your immune system to be cool with them being around. And now we have ways and we discussed ways to improve their status of each of these, such as licorice, glutathione, uh, turmeric, fasting, choline, sauna, butyrate, CBD, fish oil, and more. You know, I really hope that this video shed some light and provided you some insight into what is really happening with the immune system so you can use to your advantage mechanisms and supplements and lifestyle changes to enhance your immune system to work the way that you want to work. I appreciate that you watched this video today and stuck around until the end. Thank you so much. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you found, if you think someone would like this video and find it useful, please share it with them. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much and stay beautiful.